All right. These are the little balls from the sweet gum tree that we got the other day. And I'm processing them right now so that we can make them into a tincture. But I'm here to tell you, they're not real happy with me doing this. They don't give this up easy. They're not real easy to smash. So you probably need a hammer and a sturdy surface. I stole my wife's cutting board here. She's probably not gonna like it, but anyway. So these have shikimic acid in them. They run about three to 4% shikimic, shikimic acid. And uh, you take these and put them into a tincture. And then when you start feeling like you're coming down with a flu or something in the uh, winter time or any time really, you start feeling like you're coming down with a flu, then you would take a few drops each day or a couple times a day of this. And it won't stop the flu, but what it will do is keep it from reproducing. So it's gonna make your time that you have, that you have pain and suffering from the flu, you're gonna have less time for pain and suffering. So once we get these done, we'll uh, put them into a jar and then we'll cover them with alcohol and let them sit for about six or eight weeks. And that'll uh, extract the shikimic acid out of them, which is what we're looking for. So it's just another one of those kind of things where we have all these medicines and we have all these foods that are right outside our door that we don't hardly ever even know about unless somebody tells you about it. The only way we know about this is somebody else told us about it. So we want to pass this information along. Talk to you later. I've got my jar here and I'm filling up the little sweet gum balls inside the jar. So I want to kind of get them in here so it's pretty full because we're going to make enough tincture so we can I have it for friends and family and if anybody needs some we can give them some you just fill up pack it in kind of and then once you get them in there like that we're going to take and we're going to put some Everclear and you can use any kind of high proof alcohol that you want to Everclear you're just not buying as much expensive water. It really irks me to have to pay the taxes on this and you can use it for medicine, but the way it is right now, that's what we gotta do. You can't legally make alcohol on your own by yourself without a license, so, which is really not good to me. But anyway, I'm gonna fill this up and cover the top of the uh, the balls and then we're going to let it sit for about six or eight weeks and then we're going to strain it off and uh, we'll bottle it up into some little uh, dropper bottles or whatever anytime you're doing something like this you want to keep it out of the sunshine in a cool dark place and then uh, it'll be like that right there for about six or eight weeks and then we'll We'll check back with you and see how it is then. Alright, just put your lid on there good and tight. Or not really overly tight, but just snug. And then we'll be back in a few weeks and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, you always want to put a label on it. For sure. 